Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. We'll get to tonight's podcast in just a minute. But first, here's an ad. See you right back in a minute. Are you or a loved one suffering from a medical coincidence? You want proper medical care, but you don't want people sniffing around asking a whole bunch of questions about what might be causing your problem. At the Kaufman Institute for Coincidence, we won't look into the cause of your heart or other problem. We'll just fix it. That's right. We promise to only look at your symptoms. We won't get all curious looking for causes because that could get your employer or your doctor into some legal hot water. And nobody wants that. At Kaufman, we understand that coincidence is now the leading cause of death. Hey, we've got another coincidence over here. If we want to operate at the speed of science, there's no time for looking for causes. No pesky questions about drugs or vaccines you may have been given. At Kaufman, we specialize in the effects and leave the causes to the conspiracy theorists. And let's be honest, we know the cause anyway. It was a coincidence, right? For each new patient, Kaufman's talented team of doctors strap on their blinders and look directly at the problem area, usually the heart, just like the CDC recommends. Our main campus now treats myocarditis, blood clots, heart arrhythmia, stroke, heart attack, magnetic skin, difficulty breathing, full body blisters and burning, convulsions, kidney failure, memory loss, cancer, sudden death, and much, much more. Give your coincidence the attention it deserves but not the wrong kind of attention at Kaufman. Schedule your appointment today at KaufmanCoincidence.com and receive a doctor's note with a real sciency sounding explanation to provide to your anti-vax friends, proving to them it was definitely not the vaccine that caused your coincidence. Kaufman, because coincidences happen pretty much all the time. Official medical coincidence partner of the NFL. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coincidences, left, right, and center. Haven't you heard? It happens all the time now. A woman in her early 20s, I believe she was 21? 21. Barely out of her teenage years. And she cops a heart attack and she's in critical condition she had a sports scholarship I don't think she's ever going to use it now coincidence hey hey 21 year olds drop of a heart attack all the time yeah perfectly healthy it doesn't matter. They drop off a heart attack. Huh? Well, what do you think this is? What, people, you know, young and healthy, don't just drop off a heart attack? Of course they do. It's perfectly normal. Coincidence. The perfectly fit NFL player? I think he's still in a bloody coma. Heart attack on the field. Coincidence. Coincidence. A player in Europe for the soccer. Same thing. Heart attack. Rush to the hospital. His career is over. A coincidence. All these are coincidences, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why people are getting so worked up. Oh, it's this. It's this. It's this. I'm telling you, it's this. It's a coincidence. My cousin knows it's a coincidence. Other people on my list know it's a coincidence. A lot of people know it's a coincidence. And you can't have the conversation with them because, you know... It's a coincidence. We all know it's a coincidence. Why would we sit there and have a conversation with friends, family, anyone, the person wheeling out the bins? Why even bring it up? 
Don't bring it up. Are you stupid to bring it up? Why would you bring it up? They're going to yell at you. They'll be like, you know, seriously, mate. You know, enough with that. You know, it's a coincidence. It's a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's podcast. Where we are going to talk about WWE being possibly sold there's still a question mark there possibly sold to Saudi Arabia this is absolutely insane what happens when Saudi Arabia have ownership of the WWE. Are women going to be wrestling in bodysuits? Because that's going to be very appealing to watch. That is sure going to build the ratings up. Because watching women now does that, yeah. Put them in bodysuits. That'll definitely make it better. Sami Zayn's going to lose his job. Kevin Owens is going to go right with Sami Zayn as well. He's going to support his mate. Sami Zayn has Syrian in his blood. And we know what Saudi Arabia and uh, Syria have got going. They don't like each other at all. And poor innocent people pay the price for it great country Saudi Arabia huh. that's like one out of a thousand fucked up things from that country you know sports washing that's all it is Ronaldo gets 200 million a year from Saudi Arabia yeah that's all it is they own a golf league. They own a soccer team. They've got their hands in everything, ladies and gentlemen. That public investment fund has a lot of shares in a lot of stuff. Even your iPhone that you're listening to this podcast on. And China... I mean, we all know everything's made in China. From what we sit on to electrical, heck, to most of our fucking vehicles. Where we think a lot of these brand names make them here. They make them all in fucking China. They just slap their fucking brand on it. Some are made in their countries, but for the most part, it's China. I don't like hypocrites. Therefore, I'm not one. I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, you know, I'm never going to, you know, get the WWE network again. Saudis aren't going to get a fucking single solitary cent of my money. Well, they're getting our money and our love subconsciously unknowingly ignorantly without doing any education whatsoever that's what it falls down to people that say I'm not going to support Saudi Arabia with anything fuck them well you know they are ignorant and by ignorant I mean in the literal term you know lack of knowledge Um, it comes down to them being ignorant and uneducated Because if they look at the public investment fund, they'll see that they have their hands in everything. So you're not going to buy another iPhone. You're not going to buy another iPad. Go check it out. There's a million other things that you do day to day that Saudis have got their hands in. And China, they're just as bad as Saudi Arabia, if not worse. 
They just ruined the world for the last two and a half, you know, three years. It's not even fucking over yet. Could be more coming. All because of China. China destroyed the entire fucking world. And you think in China, a lot of people have a great deal of rights. <laughs> Research China. Go on. So yeah, Saudi Arabia is fucked. China is fucked. But everyone's doing business with them. Especially China. So it's all about research. Knowledge is power. And it's all about keeping your mouth shut and not saying, oh, how can you support this and how can you support that when you unknowingly support it. So don't be ignorant. Get educated. And if people want to subscribe to the WWE Network, what's it to you? I stopped subscribing years ago because I'd be on and off here and there and then I just said, nah, fuck it. The product became unwatchable. Um, And look, every bit that we do helps. I wouldn't go out of my way to get the WWE Network for the reason that, you know, if the Saudis did end up buying it, I don't want to really support them 100%. Sometimes you can't help it, you know. That's what they do. They go and buy shares in everything. They want to feel involved. They want to feel like they're progressive. They want people to look at them in a good light. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to avoid it. It's not like we do it purposely. We don't fucking refresh on a website 10 million times to secure our spot to get something that's from the Saudis. We don't line up for fucking five hours to get something that's from the fucking Saudis. Unless it's a fucking iPhone, but then you're a fucking idiot. That's got nothing to do with the fucking Saudis. You're just a fucking idiot if you line up five hours for a fucking iPhone. Some people camp fucking the night before. Nothing against people that wait for five hours from fucking, you know, four in the morning to get a fucking iPhone. But that's not me. But, you know, like I said, to each their own. But I digress. So don't be a fuckwit. You know? That's what I'm getting at that's my point don't be a fuckwit and let people do whatever the fuck they want to do uh, anything you can do anything at all to not support them do it I'm not going to go out of my way to get the WWE Network unless there's something I want to rip off WWE Network because I download videos off there um, so unless there's anything from the library that I need uh, I'm not going to bother. I just fucking live stream it for free off one of these fucking, you know, <laughs> server sites. Um, isn't that what most people do? So, uh, yeah. You know. Everyone watches shit for free now on the internet. Um, so, I'm not going to get the WWE Network again. I'm not going to get any you know, uh, merchandise from WWE. I'm not going to support the ratings. I mean, I'm not in America, so I can't support the uh, TV ratings. I don't contribute to that. So as long as I'm not doing that, uh, I want to see WWE go down. Go down if Saudi Arabia have, in fact, bought the company. AEW, straight away, will be the number one wrestling company in the world. I just think it's horrendous that Vince, the legacy of the WWE, from his dad, to him, to his kids, could have been to their grandkids. Instead, he goes and sells to the Saudis for what's reportedly been said to be 8.5 8.5 billion. Yeah. Could be less. Heck, could be more. Could be 10 billion. I don't know. We don't know that yet. They're going to take it private, of course, because uh, Saudi Arabia wouldn't be able to fucking run it if it wasn't private. Because if it's public, everyone's going to pack up and fucking leave. 
It's like when you're playing poker at a table with 30 people and, you know, some fuckwit comes in and then everyone on that table, all 29, just cash out and leave. They're like, cash me out. I'm not going to sit here with this fuckwit. That's Saudi Arabia. So, yeah. Saudi Arabia, like I said, bought a golf league. And they've got some of the greatest golf players in the world. The greatest. And they can't get a TV deal. They can't get a television deal, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because of the fucking Saudis. Who wants to do business with them? At least obvious business. No one wants to put a billboard up saying, yeah, we're doing business with the Saudis. Yeah. At least if they own shares in something, people try to turn a blind eye because it suits them. That's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to get a lot of wrestlers saying, I don't want to work for WWE anymore. Not if the side is going to own it. Well, look, you know, in NXT, they get 100 grand a year. It's the developmental territory. For those that aren't wrestling fans, it's like the VFL of the AFL. 100 grand a year, pretty sweet for up and comers. You know, they're learning on the job. It's like being an apprentice in a wrestling company. 100 grand. Well, we know Saudis, they like to boost that number. You know, fucking Ronaldo, 200 million. He was nowhere close to that before the Saudis got in there. So, an NXT wrestler goes from 100 grand a year to 2 million a year. You think they're going to pass up 2 million dollars a year? and say, no, I don't want their money. I don't want nothing to do with them. I'm quitting. Uh, you're a rookie. And you are going from 100 grand a year to 2 million a year. Saudis are crazy with money. They don't give a shit. Their public investment fund has $620 billion dollars. They can buy the whole fucking world. Would you get up and leave? If you're an NXT wrestler in the WWE? Owned by the Saudis, would you leave? And say, I don't want the two million a year. Trust me. Not a single solitary person on the NXT roster would pack up and leave. If they were going to get two million dollars a year. But they're on a hundred grand right now. You know, a hundred grand, it's neither here nor there. It's still a lot of money for a lot of people, but a hundred grand, your morals and your ethics. Oh man, you can wave a fucking flag and you can tell them, fuck those people. But when it's two million, woo, your morals, and your ethics, they take a backseat. Now, you can't put money on everything. If someone offered me $2 million to go kill someone, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for any amount of money. Because yeah, killing is wrong. Some people will do that. But they're fucking lunatics and they belong in jail. I don't believe in killing anyone. Not even if they deserve it. I wish them death. I hope someone else kills them. <laughs> it's just not going to be me. I'm straight. And you couldn't offer me a hundred million to swing the other way. Fuck no. Got nothing against gays. Nothing at all. But yeah. I just wish they respected straight people. Just how they want straight people to respect them. The amount of times they crack onto straight guys. 
They don't even ask the orientation. And they know that they're likely straight, but they just try and crack onto them anyway. Not all, but a lot of them. That's another podcast for another time. But yeah, WWE getting sold to the Saudis, if it ends up being confirmed. It may not. I really hope that, you know, NBC Universal or Disney buys it. Heck, Saudi Arabia have loads of shares in Disney. There you go. You can't escape them. But you can do what you can to send a message. But don't go around, you know, judging people because you're ignorant and you're uneducated. And we don't want none of that. So don't be an asshole, but do whatever you can to send that message. Because uh, it's horrendous. Saudi Arabia, women's rights don't exist. Gay rights don't exist. What's left? It's all about the men there. Dominating women. Men being the superior human beings. That's all it's about. Men showing their dominance towards women. Using them as sex slaves whenever they please. Even from when they're 12. It's very sick, man. But just in general, it's a pedophilic country. Just in general, they force any woman they want into marriage because uh, even psychopaths uh, like them, you know, they have their own rules, ironically. You've got to marry them first and then you can have sex with them whenever you please, as many times as you want. They can't say no. That's Saudi Arabia for you. And every Muslim person here in the Western world who proudly supports their religion, being Muslim, you know, that's what they do in Saudi Arabia. It's all a part of their religion. You know, ignorance is bliss they are willfully ignorant it's disgusting it's disgraceful it's appalling especially from the women especially from the women they'll sit here and they'll fucking support their religion go around and say I'm a Muslim I'm proud and they just ignore the stuff that happens overseas in Saudi Arabia you know and they'll say to you well you know I'm not living there yeah and so what if you're not living there it's still happening and you're supporting that religion Oh, I'm not supporting it. I don't agree, Johnny. I don't agree with a lot of stuff. You know, we don't all agree with everything. You know, religion isn't perfect. Yeah, well, you know what? When they marry 12-year-old girls and then they molest them, you know, if I knew someone was doing that, I wouldn't go out and have a coffee with them the next day or go and pray with them and pat them on the back and say, you know, mate, what do you do? We're Muslim after all. It's okay. I understand you. You understand religion. You understand Islam. You love your religion. You love being a Muslim. People can do whatever the fuck they want to do. But they are fucking stupid. Catastrophically stupid. Anyway. WWE is fucked. If they did sell to the Saudis, they are absolutely done for. Can't wait. Can't wait to find out 
Will WWE prosper? Or will WWE die? Will AEW finally, after four years on the air, will AEW finally be number one? I have a feeling very soon it will be. Before you do. Religion is a mental illness. It is. It, it, it is the biggest mental illness and there's no fucking medication for it. Yeah, you will be fucking sorry when you end up under a semi-trailer. And that fucking thing won't ram into you. You'll ram into it. <laughs>